Hello and welcome back to the quick blog. In our previous topic, we have talked about the before insert trigger and after insert trigger. Similarly, we are going to continue the same topic about triggers. But today in this video, we will be talking about the before update trigger and after update trigger. Okay, without delaying, delaying let's start our workbench and we are again going to use the same database as of previous video, which is a database called the quick blog. Okay, we are again using same database and we are going to create two triggers that is before update and after update. Uh, we have already talked about what is trigger. So uh, let us uh, see an intro on this scenario. Okay, update before update trigger is a, a same similar type of trigger of uh, like insert trigger, but its uh, event is on update. That means whenever we change some records, then the trigger come into action and execute some task and before update uh, it is quite uh, easy to know by its name that is it will execute before the uh, record is inserted or before the record is updated and after update is when after the update is done okay we will uh, create a trigger before project budget update and before update on project that means uh, it is similar syntax as the insert and for each row begins if old budget is changed to new budget then uh, insert into employee logs that is employee id and log message we have a cre we have created a table in our previous video that is employee logs and with the field employee id and log message and the values will be new id that means the updated id and we will be uh, giving our log message which will be budget from project and concatenated with old name change from dollar the, the budget can be in any currency i have kept a dollar and old budget to dollar new budget end if end okay this is our uh, before update let us uh, create a before update at first and let us see about the after update because we will be executing a uh, single example which will trigger both of the uh, triggers or which will call both of the triggers uh, like we have created a trigger after project uh, deadline update that means it is for deadline update update and um, after update on project for each row begins if old deadline is changed to new deadline then insert into employee log employee id log message uh, the manager id should be changed into id because we have the field called id in the table project and we will be changing the new id then after we will be concatenating the project old name uh, deadline was changed from uh, to this deadline and now that means uh, on on now on today's date it is saying that let us change the okay let us call the trigger we have successfully created a trigger and now we are going to update a single update we will bring a single update which will uh, activate or which will execute the both of the trigger so let's update uh, project set uh, let us change the budget budget okay first let us see the records of the project then only we can change select strict from project okay this is our project and we will we will be changing okay we will be changing the id number one because we have both deadline and did initialize in some records we do not have deadlines that means null value so let us change in the id number one okay there is already a budget of 5000 we are going to keep a budget of okay 10000 comma and deadline to be 29 2025 okay let's suppose the date is 01 dash 09 okay this is our deadline and we will give a where condition 
where id is equals to 1 and let us see the update okay we have successfully updated a, a project that means uh, okay let's see the project at first okay we have just uh, updated the budget and then after we have just updated the deadline and if we see in the table uh, employee logs because we have already or we have created an event where the uh, changes will be stored or inserted inside the employee log so uh, it has been automatically uh, inserted as per our trigger so let us check whether the trigger uh, has inserted or not select asterisk from uh, employee log okay this was from our previous video that is from before insert and after insert and today's uh, from today's video we have created or we have uh, recorded two events that is uh, budget from project uh, the quick the quick blog website web development changed from dollar uh, five thousand to dollar ten thousand Similarly, another was that the project, the quick blog website web development deadline was changed from this to this on today's date. That is th this date, and the date block time is also saved here as per the change we made just now. Okay, I hope you have got some knowledge on before and after update. And in uh, our next video, we will be talking about the delete with delete. That is before delete and after delete. Thank you.